we've heard over the years as fans that you kind of have to earn Andre's respect and uh, he could be really hard on people if he didn't know them or trust them yet. Uh, was your arrival in the WWF the first time that you had been around Andre? Uh, no, actually, um, I met Andre while I was still in college playing football at West Texas State. Really? And, and again, the uh, <clears throat> Andre, and of course, Andre, and again, the territorial days, you know, he would go territory to territory and he'd like, he'd go, he'd go to a territory and, you know, he'd be the highlight on, on every card in that territory for that entire week. And then he'd go to another territory. Uh, and so when the Funks brought him into Texas, uh, and this is while I was still at West Texas state playing football, uh, for whatever reason, both of them, Dory Jr. and Terry were going to be out of town. They weren't going to be there. And so they said, they said, they said, Teddy, would you take Andre out for us uh, when he comes and, and, uh, and take care of me? And I said, yeah, man, I'm, I'd be happy to. And so uh, I, I took the big man out uh, <laughs> the, uh, after, the, after the show in Amarillo, Texas. Took him to one of the, one of the, uh, the, the college bars that, you know, all of us college kids frequented and everything. You know, it was funny that, this is this true story. So we sit down, and and the, and, the, and the girl comes up to the table to take the order. Andre looks at her and he says, "You'll have trash can." She's kind of <laughs> kind of odd look on her face. She says, "Yeah." He says, "Big big trash can." Says, yeah, he says, empty trash can. He says, "Yeah, sure." He says, four. I don't know if it was four or five, four or five cases of beer and trash can on ice, bring to table. <laughs> I'm like, what? I couldn't believe it. And, and of course, now, if you ever saw Andre wrap his hand around a, a, a beer can, which mm -hmm. is basically the same size as a Coke can, the can disappears. You can't see any, you can't even see the can. <laughs> his hand is that big. And it was like, it, it was kind of like uh, him drinking a, a regular 12 ounce thing of beer was like you or I drinking a, a mini. Right. And I mean, he was just unbelievable. And, you know, the other thing that a lot, a lot of things that the, 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 the fans don't know, you know, the, I can't remember who did the special on him, but they did a really good job. With the special they did on Andre the Giant, I think it helped the people understand how here's a guy who's so visible, you can't miss him anywhere he goes, but spent his life somewhat lonely. Yes. Because you know? uh, you could never, he could never get anywhere where he was really comfortable. You know, uh, travel on an airplane, even if he sits in first class, a first class seat on an airplane is like me sitting in coach. I can sit there, but I'm not real comfortable. Right. And that that's, you know, he spent his whole life. And I mean, he, he wrestled in Japan, you know, they would have to, in some places, you know, they would, uh, you know, I don't know, either have to put, they put him in a room where they, you know, put two beds together. Or I, I don't know, but just constantly looking for, for a place to be comfortable. And uh, it was just tough. It was just tough, tough life for him, but a good guy. And, and, and oh gosh, man, I don't me remember a whole lot about the rest of that night. I, you know, kind of like <laughs> how could you? Oh my gosh. Four you know, cases. Like, my goodness. Yeah. Great boss. Drink, you <laughs> drink, you know? Well, hey, that's good. You know, you had a good relationship with him coming in the door because, you know, as as we discussed here with Bam Bam, maybe having some issues. I know that uh, Big John Studd experienced some really bad issues with him uh, to the point where I believe that he was a, a big reason why Studd wound up leaving the territory. So it's, uh, you know, he's not a guy that you want to have be on the bad side of. And it sounds like you had a, a good early start with him. Oh, yeah, I did. I really did. 